Hello and welcome to Cloud Force Vibes. My name is Bobby, and this is how I grow orchids and carnivorous plants. Hello and welcome to Cloud Force Vibes. Today I have another quick unboxing video. Daryl Adams hit me up and said that he had an extra plant in the shipment and he went ahead and had it sent to me. He said he already had it and he thought that I needed it. So this is like 10 minutes or so before my lights go out in the grow room. My mail just got here. It's getting to be that season. So I'm gonna cut right in and waste no time and uh, get this plant out of the box and show you guys. Cool. It's right here. He said it was going to come in a pot. In a pot it is. Um, oh, interesting. Very well packed. It's sturdily in there. So let me go ahead and get this thing out and we will take a nice closer look at it. Very, very sturdily packed. And that is awesome. Impressive. Okay, so. When on packing, I mean, I've never seen something so yeah. All right, let's get this stick out if we can, yes, and start figuring out how to unravel this. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Okay guys, give me a few. This is like surgery. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, I mean I would hate to see Christmas gifts from this person. This is incredible. <laughs> my lights are gonna actually go out probably while I'm doing this, so let me talk about this plant a little bit while I struggle dearly. Um, this is a Cattleya. This is Cattleya Lutola. Um, I'll put the name up on the screen. But it is a really neat one. Um, I guess it stays about this size, which is great. And it has yellow blooms. Really, really pretty blooms. I'll try to find a picture that I can throw up. I think Daryl might have sent me one, so I will ask him if I can use that. I'm really going to focus on this. Give me a second, guys. Oh, goodness gracious. That plant is not going anywhere. We are almost there. <laughs> wow. Okay, last piece. Okay. <sighs> now, this is, like I said, Catlia lutella, or luteola, luteola. I'm going to go with luteola. Um, again, if I haven't put the name up on the screen, I will already. Beautiful, um, you know, smaller Catlia species. It's not too giant has some pretty neat looking pseudo bulbs. They're uh, elongated, they're kind of uh, compressed, and they've got these nice ridges all over them. So this looks like a newer growth here, one of its newest ones at least, and this is its newest new growth here. Um, I do see some roots down in this pot. It looks like it's a cocoa husk mix. Uh, there's some leca beads, some perlite, and such in there. Um, I'm not going to water this today. I'm afraid it will stay too wet. Um, but as you know me, this is definitely going to be going on a mount. I can tell it kind of creeps along. So I picture this on a long skinny mount growing upwards to my grow lights and hopefully presenting its blooms as such. But that again is Catlia luteola and that is from Daryl Adams. Daryl, thank you so very much 
another awesome Catlia. My Catlia collection has absolutely just went through the roof this year, um, mostly thanks to Daryl, to be honest. I picked up a few myself, but Daryl has absolutely sent me, I mean, tons and tons of them. So I'm going to have to do an update on all the Daryl Adams plants here soon, and you guys will see for yourselves. Some of them are doing really, really well. Most of them actually are doing really, really well. So anyhow, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, please stay safe and happy growing. Ha, 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 ha.